If you haven't heard it yet, you'll hear it first here. OJ Simpson has died from cancer. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I'm a certified hospice nurse, and I feel like I'm going to get some questions about this one. The reports haven't said if he was on hospice, but if there's anyone who didn't really deserve a peaceful death on hospice, it was OJ Simpson. But I do really hope they were there for his family. They have already suffered so much because of him. Not only did his kids have to grow up without a mom, there were probably times when they had to wonder, was it our dad who brutally murdered her? I'm sure there are gonna be people in my comments who are gonna say, he was innocent. I was a huge O.J. Simpson fan. I used to watch football with my dad and see him play. I thought he was really cool and so good looking when he was jumping over the suitcases in that Hertz commercial. So I didn't really wanna believe that he was capable of such a horrible thing. But when that trial was going on, I was a stay-at-home mom with a newborn baby and I watched every second. By the end of it, I knew that, in fact, O.J. Simpson did kill Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman. I know that people are going to wonder, did he have a deathbed confession? I doubt it. He is far too arrogant and cares too much what people think about him to admit to something that he has denied for so long. Besides, he already wrote a detailed confession when he authored the book, If I Did It. The juiciest thing that people are probably going to want to know from me is how would I treat the juice if he was my hospice patient? First of all, I would take very good care of his family. I would educate them on what they would expect to see as his dying process unfolded so that they wouldn't be afraid. And I would make sure that my team's social worker and chaplain were available to provide them with emotional and spiritual support. As far as how I would treat OJ as my patient, I would care for him with as much kindness and compassion as I would do for anyone else. And then I'd go home and take a shower because ooh, I wouldn't really do that. Lastly, do I think he died in pain? He deserved to. But again, if I was his hospice nurse, I would do my best to see that he didn't. I believe in karma. And if there is such a thing as hell or purgatory or some horrible afterlife that happens for people who did terrible things, no one is more deserving than O.J. Simpson.